All right, another game theory topic. This time, coordination game. Here, coordinating with other party or parties will get you the best outcome and sometimes it is the only way to get a good outcome. In the example about stag hunt I provided before, coordinating with the other player could get you the better outcome. But if you did not coordinate, you could still get something out of it. And the most common example about coordination games will be the example of driving cars on the road. Which side of the road you are going to be driving in. Staying on the designated side of the road is for your own good. And you will get nothing out of going the other way. You will be putting yourself and others in danger. So, coordinating is the best way to go. There can be another conflicting interest example that can be solved by coordination. Let's say that you and your partner want to go out together and spend some time together. But you want to go to one place and your partner would prefer another place. Here, if both of you go to the places you want, the original need will not be met. That is, you are not going together. The place will not satisfy you. Going somewhere with your partner will. But in this case, the satisfaction will not be the same for both if they go together somewhere. It is still better than nothing. Going to place A or going to place B, you and your partner. If you look at this simple matrix, you can see that both of the partners are not going to have the same level of satisfaction. But if both of them do not go together, the satisfaction level will be absolutely none, zero. Now, another way you can rephrase the coordination game is, the parties will get the best outcome if both of them chooses the same option. Both parties going through their right hand side or left hand side, both partners going together wherever they're going. Now, sometimes the rules are set up by outside forces, like the law of a country will dictate which side of the road you should go through. And sometimes, common sense or social convention will tell you which side of the road to go through. For example, driving on a rural road with no clear indication of the line indicating any divider in roads. Drivers can still drive on one side of the road, that is, right or left, depending on the country you live in. This was a small topic. You can like, share, subscribe and everything else. You can also support the channel on Patreon if you want to. And if you have any question, you can comment below. Now, for bonus, 1910 Nobel Prize in Literature. The winner was Paul Johann Ludwig Hayes or in short Paul Hayes. And this is the official end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you are still watching, take care of yourself and I really hope you have learned something new today. Goodbye for now.